Let's go. Good body. Gotta be within 15 meters, you gotta be close to these dudes, so taking damage at the same time. That's why I'm wearing the firewall crusader shield. But we just gonna rock with it, man. See how we can do like this. At least I'm getting more DPS. Go. Go, baby. Give me that. Give me that. Oh yeah, give me that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh oh, that's also what I'm talking about. That's crazy. <laughs> this is nice. Yo, let me get some more armor, man. Then I can stay out in the open longer. But do you see how fast that RPM is? So when you reload, rate of fire increases by 20% for each enemy within 15 meters of the duration of that magazine. And it, and it stacks up to five times. So this five times whatever your reload speed is increased to depending on how many enemies are around you. So let's say three enemies are around you, that's 60%. So <laughs> thing is with Umber though, you just kind of have to like set this up at the same time. I mean like you gotta make sure it's people around you and you gotta make sure you have the umbra buff at the same time reload you did me a favor buddy Almost. Almost. <laughs> Get on the cover. Oh no. Probably gonna give me rogue agents. Yep, rogue agents I knew it. <laughs> I had a feeling. I guess we'll see how this fares against them. I mean, there's only gonna be two of them, so I can't really get the rate of fire buff up that much. When it says enemies, does it mean like? Does it also mean like pieces of skills that they use or what? That's turrets. If a turret is by me, does that count as an extra man to increase my rate of fire? We'll see. Be too hasty, B. Rogue sniper detected. Hostile sniper turret detected. Trying to take me out, man. Quickly, they trying to take me out. Oh, I guess it does mean skills too. Not 
them into our world. Body. <laughs> Let's go. Need to play more careful because this dude's same be hitting hard. Oh, this is rough. At least I got the high ground on him now. Yes, sir. Nighty night and the exotic. Well deserved exotic at that. Shoot, I went through rogue agents. Alright, so let me basically tell you what this is about. What I've learned about this weapon and its playstyle, because I haven't played it yet with the Umbra or pretty much since the chatterbox has been buffed and it's and it's been changed a lot, trust me. It was nowhere near like this i can't even remember how it was but i think this iteration of it is the best i'm running it with firewall because first of all it's a running gun play style you got to be in people's face and it helps a lot when enemies break your armor and they catch on fire it actually saved me like three or four times in this playthrough but basically the chatterbox an exotic smg my weapon damage on here is trash it's 8.1 but it still slaps because it hits for 83.8k and that's because i'm a little bit more tanky and that's good for this play style as i said it's running gun crit chance and damage is pretty much maxed out so basically what this does incessant chatter when you reload rate of fire increases by 20 percent for each enemy within 15 meters of you for the duration of that magazine the crazy thing is that kills refill this by 50 percent so the duration of that magazine is however much it's refilled every time you kill an enemy so let's say you kill three enemies that's around you a 60 percent increased rate of fire you kill one person then that increases for that duration or for as long as you do it so you could just chain kill and it works to your benefit to do both. It works to your benefit to reload, and it works to your benefit not to reload. You want to reload when you're in an opportune position, like let's say it's like five enemies. You just want to run straight over there and reload. Even if you have 60 rounds instead of 61, keep it at 60 and then reload once you get to that point. 
you'll have insane rate of fire in the midst of all those enemies so it's really a strategy on how to how to use this when you're using this weapon and i used the urban mdr just because i was long range in that one area so the chatterbox wasn't really doing me any good so i wanted to use this and i didn't use anything else except for the chatterbox and one time the urban mdr and that's how it is with umber you're not using anything else pretty much you're, you're using the chatterbox or whatever weapon you use with umbra because it just makes that one weapon insane and as you can see i have a four piece umbra initiative i was going with the coyote's mask at first and that was the problem i had because you can't reroll the armor core on a coyote's mask i already had a reroll the armor core for the umbra the, the fact is that on smgs you're always going to have the highest amount of crit chance natively you don't even need to stack your crit chance at all really because smgs already have 21 percent plus whatever else is on your build so you just want to stack as much crit damage as you can and because i didn't use coyote's mask i went with the group of somber one piece which gives you 15 percent crit damage for one piece and then another crit damage roll you know how that goes here's my other umber piece the chest the chest piece Crit damage rolled Crit damage rolled on the knee pads and this is another one where i rolled the armor and finally the backpack crit damage on the backpack with a crit damage mod now you all know that gear set builds are pretty simple to put together but when it comes to these it's a certain play style that comes with it like i said this chatterbox is completely different from any other play style that i've played because you have to be careful you have to be in cover you got to be out of cover then you have to notice when there are a lot of enemies congregating but you can't just run out into the open because you can get bodied like that so there's a certain play style that this comes with but it's kind of exciting and rewarding at the same time final piece are the Sokolov up concern gloves 10 percent smg damage and i'm using an smg of course crit damage rolled and crit chance let me show you the stats and it could be a little bit more than this like i said it's easy to get 60 percent crit hit chance on here but you want to get as much crit damage i would have been able to get more crit damage with coyote's mask but like i said i wanted to stack more armor remember how i had that one piece that was rolled to crit chance i think it was the the mask right I had crit damage rolled and I'll have this up to about 180 almost which means that umber increases this to almost 300 so yeah that is the build and the skills I use are of course the firewall specific specializations striker ballistic shield and this increases your damage but they're within that cone from a certain range and it just makes sense to use this shield especially since I'm using the SMG and you got to be close up second skill I used was the EMP sticky bomb. And you saw how that worked. You could off balance enemies, you could take out their skills because they were doing a lot of damage to me with those skills, man. But I always rock with the EMP sticky bomb anyway. It's like my go-to skill when I'm running DPS builds. And that's it, y'all. That's the build. Let me know what you think of it down below. Let me know if you have used the Chatterbox with Umbra Initiative or any other Chatterbox builds in general. But I think that Umbra just makes this thing go to a whole nother level, man. It's crazy. I've seen my RPM levels on here get to where I've never seen it before. And it's not hard. If you got enough damage, if you got enough crit, and if, you, and if you're tanky enough, you can do it. So check this out and let me know what you think of it. But that'll do it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Be right out.